What's going on everybody? Honda Pro Jason here. I want to take a minute and talk to you guys about the next generation Type R. So I just finished my video on the 2020 Boost Blue Type R and all the changes Honda made. And I started thinking about what's going to happen to the next generation. So these are my thoughts, my concerns, what I think is going to happen. This does not reflect Honda or the Honda company. And I'm really concerned because the Swindon plant in the UK, which is making one 100% of the Type R's right now, and they've been making 100% of the Type R's for years now, is permanently closing. It's supposed to be closing next summer. Now keep in mind that because of the pandemic, they haven't even opened back up yet. So they haven't even started back production, which I think means that all the cars that were supposed to be made in like April, May, basically, will not be produced. They're not gonna go back in time and reproduce these cars. So they're gonna have to start with the cars in June which is gonna make the 2020s very limited. So in addition to that, what's gonna happen in 2021, 2022? Because Honda has announced that they're gonna make the next factory in North America. Where is that Type R factory gonna be in North America? The fact that they said North America leads me to believe it's gonna be Canada. They have the facility, they had the manpower, and I don't think they're using all of their factory capacity right now, and they could make the Type R. The engines would still come from America, and they'd go up there. Now that brings me to my next interesting point here. These spy shots, that are supposedly the next Civic Type R. I don't know, they kind of look like a Civic Type R, but I also think that they might be a different product. My own personal belief, they might be an Acura. I'm hearing lots and lots of rumors of an Acura Integra coming because the ILX, hear me out here, ILX is finishing its generation. It needs to be replaced. And what better replacement than an Integra? Now, what would power this Integra? I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think about a 2.5 liter turbo with all wheel drive and electric motors in the rear? That would be pretty sick. All wheel drive Integra. It would be a Type R. It would be totally insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comments now. If you think that a 2.5 liter turbocharged all-wheel drive Integra Type R would not be insanely cool. I know what you guys are saying. No one wants an all-wheel drive. It takes away from the, the history of the Type R. But here's the thing. Everything's going hybrid. Honda is going to go hybrid. Acura is going hybrid. There's no denying. There's no way to stop it. So instead of a hybrid engine up front, they might as well have a gasoline powered engine up front, turbocharged with electric motors in the back, just like the NSX. Let's say this hybrid, this picture of these spy shots are a type R. So what does that mean? I'm thinking that's a mule. It looks too much. I don't know. It just doesn't look right to me for some reason. Something's throwing me off. I think it's a mule. I think they're testing an engine or they're testing aerodynamics. They're testing something other than just the 11th gen. Now the 11th gen Type R is coming out. It will be, it will be here. I mean, Honda's gonna make it. They're not, not gonna stop. That's their halo car. They put so much engineering into it, which means the 11th gen Civic is gonna be based off that, or I should say the Civic will be based off the Type R because that's the way it's been working. They've been building the Type Rs first and then the other cars after that, which makes an incredible, incredible platform. So I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen with the 11th gen Civic Type R. What's going to happen? Where they're going to build it? Engines, I'm sure, are still going to come from America. And then what's going on? Will there be a replacement for the ILX? And will it be an Integra? And will it have a 2.5 liter turbo? I think that would be the bomb completely. So in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Again, these are just my ideas, things I put together by research I've done online and some things that I just kind of dream about. You know, I think that'd be kind of cool. So. Again, let me know what you think. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'm the Honda Pro. And now you're in the know.